Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the item Channel Mode and Channel Mapping in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a stereo acoustic guitar track. Let's hear it. As you can tell, there are separate performances that are panned left and right. But we don't have to play it back this way. We can change the item or take channel mode like this. We could right click on the item and go over here to item settings and adjust it over here. Although I prefer to right click and choose item properties or simply double click the item to open up the item properties. Then we can go down here and adjust the channel mode. Right now it's set to normal, so we can hear the left side in the left speaker and the right side in the right speaker. But we can change that. Select it, we can reverse it right here. And now the right side is in the left speaker and the left side is in the right speaker. Before and after. And we could also choose to make it mono by combining the left and right channels, which sounds like this. But we could also make it mono by just choosing one channel. The left then we just hear one guitar or right now we're just hearing the other guitar which is really helpful if we want to rebalance the two guitars let's put it back to mono left Let's duplicate this track. Then we could double click this item and switch this one to mono right. And now we could open up the mixer, pan this one to the left and this one to the right to get the same thing. Except now we could rebalance each side. giving us more control over each guitar. But let's delete this one. And we could also choose other mono and stereo options, which makes more sense with a multi-channel audio file. I have one here with two channels of drums, two channels of bass, and two channels of guitar. But if we play it now, we're only hearing the drums, even though on the meters, we can see all the channels. Because it's set up by default to only play those first two channels. And we can still reverse them or make them mono, but with this item, we could choose these other options like mono, channel three, is just gonna be one of the bass channels. Or if we choose mono five, we're just gonna hear the left guitar. And we could also do it on a stereo basis. So you could just hear the drums, The bass, or the guitars. And 
Now we could also use a plugin. Go to our effects, go to the search bar and type mixer. And we could choose the plugin channel mapper down mixer. Double click it. And now we could see all six channels we're using. Right here, these are the inputs and these are the outputs. So if we wanted to hear just the bass, we could choose it right here. Three and four going out, one and two. Or just the guitar. Or hear everything like this. And we can even mix it from this plugin right here with these little faders over here. Let's remove this plugin and check out one other option. Double click it. And we could also choose the channel mapper down here. Choose it. And this shows up with a very similar matrix. Where we could choose our six inputs and our six outputs. And again, we could just hear the bass. the drums, or the guitars. Or we could choose to hear them all. Now, if we glue it like this, right click, glue items, it puts that mix on channel one and two. But now we can switch it right here to just play stereo one and two, glue it again. Now we just have that one stereo file of a mix of all six channels. Or if we prefer, we could split them out like we did with the guitar. Switch this to one and two. Duplicate the track. Duplicate it again. Switch this one. to three and four, and this one to five and six. And now we have three separate tracks based on our stereo pairs. So we can go back to our mixer and balance this mix. So as you can see, there's a lot of different options in terms of what channels we hear, whether it's a stereo file or a multi-channel audio file. So that's pretty much it. That's the item, channel mode, and channel mapping in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!